Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Thank you. So today we are going to discuss about the ISTQB. ISTQB inter uh, actually stand for International Software Testing Qualification Board. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, myself is Rohit Singh. My education is BTech, MTech, MBA. Okay, I used to be I used to get JL, ITL, HPL, M, AWS, Azure, GCP, etc. Okay, all this stuff. I am currently doing PhD. Fine, <laughs> also, you know all this stuff. So today, what we are going to discuss? Uh, the, basically, the agenda of today is what introduction to ISTQB, International Software Testing Qualification Board okay 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 second we are going to discuss about the principle of testing see we are if you are ordinary if you're anyone if i'm going to ask how you are going to do the testing they will say i'm going to check correct mm -hmm. i'm going to check the application according to the requirement maximum they are going to say correct but only yeah. if you are going to so, uh, check the product according to the requirement only that is not the complete definition of testing okay okay in testing we are we have some testing principles because when we have to start testing correct hmm. it is, suppose you are working in any development project or if you are working in any infrastructure deployment project right so when the tester is going to start that is also one of the decision making process who will take those decision manager senior manager bp and all this stuff right yes then we are going to discuss about the testing throughout the life cycle how we are going to do the entire testing that is testing life cycle that is stlc software testing okay life cycle then we are going to discuss all the static te uh, techniques what are the static techniques okay that is static technique means what that is always constant a dynamic techniques are what according to the requirement we can uh, customize correct yes and then what are the tools supported for uh, for testing so we will discuss about the what are the tools and how to select the right tool for testing suppose you are going you want to do automation testing so according to your project how you are going to select that is also a very important task who is going to select the tool senior member always okay test mm -hmm. manager project manager or vp right okay so let's discuss about the uh, istqb so basically istqb is what international software testing qualification board is a software testing qualification certification organization so with that you are going to give the exam okay and what i am going to tell you that is the you know syllabus for istq foundation level that is more than enough no need to do all these certifications like in azure also you have so many certifications right aws, yes. uh, AWS also you have so many certification but yes. what is your requirement that is enough only istq foundation is what lifetime validity other whatever maybe certification you will do all the certification will be valid only two to three years that's all again you have to give okay okay so i have given test management test manager and all because i am going to give the training but for you it is not required okay correct because you want to grow in your organization you don't want yeah. to grow as a trainer correct yes so that is what uh so i used to be clear ISTQ will a uh, there's so many certifications are there first before doing any certification uh, that is what advanced level or test analyst anything first you need to clear the foundation level right foundation okay. is this is the mandatory 
then you can do the agile testing and model based testing okay so with this course what you know it's a very you can compare in uh, google also or anywhere in a we are giving a very uh, whatever maybe fees you have given we have taken i have already told to take very less okay because you are the existing student okay so mm -hmm. you you got very good package in that you are uh, we are covering both the things agile methodology mm -hmm. also and testing also complete process mm -hmm. so these are the examination k1 k2 so total 40 question they will ask you 65 percent is passing criteria 26 you have to pass okay and mm -hmm. regarding the you know uh, questions objective type what type of that i will send you don't worry if you'll go okay. through those questions you will clear but here you need to understand the process okay only one hour exam okay fine so now in exam k1 k2 k3 and k4 see in k1 they will directly by k1 type of question is what directly they will ask you the definition remember type of question is what what is testing what is verification what is unit testing these kind of question they will ask you in k1 okay in mm -hmm. k2 okay this is testing but when you have to start testing this is what understand okay mm -hmm. k3 is mm -hmm. what when you are going to apply that not testing technique at what situation correct and okay uh, k4 is what you are a suppose you are an experienced tester and you have very less time like suppose you have only one hour to test entire application so if you are going to verify each and everything in the application then you are not able to complete the testing correct mm. so at that situation what kind of decision you have to take to complete the testing so at that moment what are what will be your choice you are going to check the core components of the application right yes especially core components and business related stuff clear okay so now i am just going to give you simple example suppose you know arun you have uh, uh, i have uh, i have asked you uh, please pay the bill for uh, vodafone suppose you have a two network airtel and vodafone okay mm. you must be knowing about the airtel and vodafone right yeah yeah, yeah. okay so while giving the payment while you know uh, doing the payment on vodafone uh, after login it is redirecting to the airtel website okay then okay. they are doing the payment but in uh, then after that i told uh, i am going to ask you to do the payment in airtel also but in airtel you are not able to log in itself maybe yeah. right yeah so which one is uh you know p1 defect both are defect right yes correct but which one is p1 urgent the first one and because uh, because the waterfront site went directing to the airtel page no yes so airtel page and it's it is what due to that reason we are losing money correct yeah, yeah. so it means what we have a financial loss correct yes. so that is the p1 first we have to fix that issue then we will come okay you are not able to log in doesn't matter it, it is not going to give you any kind of error business error. loss business loss yeah business loss. yes error it is giving you are not able to log in means what it is error yeah. defect but yeah. it is not giving the business loss yeah understood how yeah. you are going to you know any kind of issue will come first you need to check what is the impact on this what is the impact of this particular issue clear okay now we are going to discuss about the principles of testing okay so principles of in testing first we are going to discuss what is software testing correct so mm -hmm. it can be uh, it can also be started as a process of validation and verifying right meets the business and technical requirements that uh, guided its design and development what so basically let me tell you in a very simple way and technical way testing basically software testing is a process by which we are going to verify the we are going to verify the what correctness of the product yes. right 
सेकंड परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट करेक्ट थर्ड वन मीट द बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट टेक्निकल रिक्वायरमेंट वॉट एवर ओके नेक्स्ट and the ui what what about the user interface everything will check the things user the friendly user interface yes you user interface after that please note down these are the terminology you will forget so if anyone is going to ask you if you will say those kind of terminology then they will understand okay this guy have very depth knowledge getting my point okay write down software testing is a process by which software testing is a process by which we are going to verify correctness comma completeness see some of the product is correct but it is not complete correct it may happen hmm. correct so yeah. correctness completeness performance see these type of definition you will not get in any book or google or right because this mm -hmm. will come after the you know working experience only mm -hmm. so what are the terminology you have uh, written software testing is part by which you are going to verify the correctness completeness performance and user interface mm -hmm. comma user interface Okay. Yeah, I return. After that, any hmm. point are you able to remember? Oh, no, I actually I had I'm not in part of the most testing, and I'm very involved in testing things. Okay, okay, no issues. I'm here to explain you. Okay, so correctness, completeness, performance, user interface. and one more word you have written that is user user interface yes user interface etc of the application mm -hmm. maybe other parameter will come see testing will depends upon the different different application testing also depends upon the application right mm -hmm. clear what is testing yeah yeah okay now we are going to discuss about why testing is necessary see we all are human being right correct yeah. so developer is also human being yes developer is human or not so yeah. human always makes mistakes always i am a trainer right right now yeah. maybe i will uh, by mistake i will you know give you some uh, you know uh wrong information and later i i am going i am going to correct it right so we mm -hmm. all are what that's the reason azure or any any application is taking guarantee only 99.9% only mm -hmm. ne, you can see that never they have mentioned 100% nowadays because according mm -hmm. to the compliance of testing or any product we should not claim 100% because ideal engine itself it is not possible practically hmm correct yeah tell me suppose if you are let me give you the simple example if you are designing any bike or suppose you you are working in infrastructure right yeah so if you are going to create any server which will load suppose uh, capacity of 120 gb so each and every moment is it possible uh, for the server they are going to give the 100 uh, 100% you know capacity 120 gb means 120 gb for entire you know for 5 years 6 years 10 years 100 years is it possible not sometimes it will break sometimes may it will you know some issues will come right yes so that's the reason we are not claiming so testing is necessary because we are human being and we have to do mistakes we are doing mistakes mm. right human makes mistakes all the time yes bad assumptions and blind spot bad assumption means what suppose you have
committed that okay this particular server suppose you are creating an infrastructure right and this particular infrastructure will take all the load from your existing what may be on premises data center taking you have created the you know data center in cloud and you are going to take the some assumptions okay only this 2 gb is enough or 8 gb is enough right or let me mm-hmm. tell you the simple example if you want to uh, if you want to you know install any application on the mm-hmm. uh, on your uh, laptop so some lap uh, some application is what requires 16 gb ram correct yes but some uh, application requires what 2 gb ram but yeah. at the time of being you have assumed that okay if we will this this will require only 4 gb but practically it is taking 6 gb then that is what bad assumptions right bad assumptions okay. or not so yeah. that's the reason testing is necessary so why testing is necessary mistakes bad assumptions and blind support blind you know spot clear okay only two points right down okay now we are going to discuss about the what is bug bug is what i have already t- uh, told you bug and defect are same thing and basically the difference between expected and actual result that is what bug right right down yeah. difference between expected and actual result error is what human action that produces an incorrect result correct error is yeah, what one. human mistake right yeah and fault but we have a difference yes. between uh, bug is difference between error and uh, defect no yeah yeah so there is a difference see bug is what deviation between or difference between expected and actual result that is bug uh-huh. okay difference between or deviation between expected and actual see you are my client you are ex- uh, expecting that okay today i'm going to take four hours uh, session but it is not possible for me to you know yeah uh, take four hours uh, session today suppose i'm yeah. going to take only two hours or so one and a half hours it means it means what your expectation doesn't ma- met right yeah just i'm taking the example okay yeah yeah so, mm. so there is what defect about Yes. And my condition is not also not allowing me to take four hours class continuously. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Clear. What is bug defect? Bug yeah, and yeah. defect are same thing. Yeah. If anyone is going to ask you, there is a difference. You can say that as per the ISTQB, there is no difference between I and bug and defect. But at as per the Indian Testing Board, there is a difference between bug and defect. So if you are going to search on Google, you will get the difference. Getting my point, Arun? So do yeah, not yeah. go with. So don't go on any, you know, Google and all. What I'm telling that is more than you. Okay. Okay. Fault. No fault. We have enough discussion. Hope you remember, right? Yeah. There is a component and failure. You know, right? Deviation of the software from its expected uh, expected delivery or services. Like you are not able to start your bike. Hope you remember mm-hmm. this example. Correct? Yeah. So clear yeah. error, fault, mm-hmm. failure, defect, right? Mm-hmm. Now, what is uh, now we are going to discuss about exhaustive testing. So exhaustive testing is what? Exercising all combination of inputs and preconditions. Okay. That is what okay. all combination of inputs and preconditions. Now let me give you a very good example. Suppose there is an application, right? Which which application that application is going to accept all the natural numbers, negative numbers, prime numbers, okay, negative numbers, right? All the numbers. I am going to tell you, please verify this particular application. If you are going to take each and every input from all the natural numbers, are you able to complete testing? No, right? No. Because natural number is what? My up to infinitive, right? Yes, correct. 
so no one is able to complete the testing correct yes after 100 years also mm -hmm. so at that time we have to adopt what exhaustive testing process because these kind of uh, applications you will get so many right they yeah. are expected and they are you know in they are taking the input from all the prime number all the natural numbers all the you know negative positive all the numbers all types of number right so yeah. at that time what we are going to do we are going to do from prime number set we are going to take two or three inputs from natural mm. number we are going to take one or two uh, inputs but all the inputs are different see prime number is what subset of natural number right yeah so if you are taking one or two as a natural number so do not take in prime number two also not clear yeah so all the inputs should be different in exhaustive testing so basically the idea of exhaustive testing is what for all the combination of like prime number natural number negative number positive number right we have to take two two inputs for each and every uh, you know combinations then we are going to validate the application now okay. clear what is the exhaustive testing yeah otherwise if you are going to verify one by one then you will not able to complete in this you know under after 100 years also testing so these type of decision you have to take as a manager correct how much mm -hmm. time will exhaust testing will take in practical amount of time so we cannot because it depends upon the input right hmm. okay now the question is coming in coming how much testing is enough correct hmm. when i can say so it depends upon the risk risk for your system okay yeah again risk will be directly proportional to business loss clear yes so uh, risk is what risk is always depends upon what risk of missing important faults risk of incurring failure cost risk of releasing unten or under tested software like beta version yes okay risk of losing credibility and market share risk of missing a market window and risk of over testing in effective testing over testing means means what you have taken yes. one prime number set and you are keep on testing so yeah, yeah. basically you are not doing testing you are just wasting the time correct yeah so uh, understood what is test uh, risk right yeah okay great now we are going to discuss about the testing principle see this is very important each and every interview question um, interview they will ask you the what are the seven testing principle or they will ask you what are the testing principle you have to say seven testing principle first one is what testing shows presence of defect means what whenever we are going to start the testing we will face what defect correct hmm. this is the basic idea of testing and in the universe till now whatever may be the application have developed each and every application have the defect although this suppose right now you are using window 10 right yes window 10 have also defect but they have already released you and me are not able to find out so there is yeah. there's nothing in in the universe which is what defect free or error free mm -hmm. clear yeah due to defect only you know virus and all are able to you know hit your system right yes yes clear so first one is yeah. what testing shows presence of defect second one is what existing exhaustive testing is impossible just now i have given you the example right if i'm telling i if i'm going to tell you please uh, test the calculator applications for all natural number is it possible for you to test no no so that's the reason exhaustive testing is impossible clear yeah 
next third one is what early testing what happened are you these uh, terminologies are totally new that's the reason yeah, you are yeah, just i'm listening only what you're saying and just i'm this is a new thing now because that's why i'm listening oh. to you only or can take the recording session I, also i am i am not uh, into the testing you know that's why i'm first time okay okay no issues so just take the recording session of this uh, you know all the session yeah, also yeah. for yeah. testing also agile also yeah yeah okay connect with b2 and ask them for so yeah, early better. testing is what okay early testing is what if you will find the defect as soon as possible in the application life cycle or software development life cycle or infrastructure life cycle then we are it is it will be very easy to what solve or resolve that issues right yes just a second yeah so that is let me give you the simple example if you are constructing any kind of house if you will get to know the uh, fault of your you know uh, stairs in at a primary level itself or in the starting itself or if you will able to understand there is a fault in in the design itself right hmm you have seen that there are so many due to design fault itself there are so many you know bridges are what pending correct hmm yeah if they got the you know uh, fault or defect in early stage itself then the it is then they will able to save so much money right yes correct they are able yeah. to you know save the business also and yeah. they will they they are able to rectify that defect and they are able to proceed further correct yeah one more thing in a software industry this is what construction example i have given you see if you want to develop an infrastructure itself uh, let me play in your domain itself you you are infrastructure guy right so whenever yeah. someone is going to give you the requirement right suppose some client wants to build a infrastructure in cloud so they will mm. give you some requirement right yeah so sometimes you will see that there are so many requirements in a requirement document which is which is what invalid invalid means what which is not possible in cloud right yeah like oracle database is available in azure cloud no right mm. yeah no not at not at there no not it there till now it is not there not there yeah okay so if some uh, some clients is going to ask you create one oracle database in azure is it possible no right it is invalid requirement yeah from the azure but i can uh, deploy the this one no bring my software and uh, i can load that one no? database you Cloud. can load that is different thing it is i am telling you creation through azure portal oh, no, it no, is that's not, not so that's not possible not, okay that is another way so it means what you can ask to the client it means what there is invalid requirement then you can explain to the client that okay this way it is not possible but we can deploy through another way right you will mm. suggest that process and then so that is what that was the defect invalid requirement is it, it means what it is a defect and you are resolving at the early stage itself your client is also agree okay okay we can deploy correct mm. yeah getting my point so that's the yeah, reason yeah. early testing is always helpful and it is always easy to resolve issues as soon as possible it is going to help you clear yeah so early testing is what important or not yes important only it See, will save your time it will save your time as well as you can find a, a defects in advance and in rectified thing yes correct so that due to that reason we are able to save our money uh, cost, money cost yeah cost next is what defect clustering 
to get our channel membership click on to the join button select the 399 plan and grow your skills immensely so testing effort shall be focused proportionally to the expected and later observed defect density of model c defect you know what is clustering yeah clustering means what most of the people are are standing in a, a room right there are so many rooms are available but only one room so many people are you know standing there or so many instances are available in only one container correct mm. Mm. yeah yes. so maximum like suppose you have a two container in a state in two container total number of instances are 10 or eight instances are present in container one and two instances are present in container two right yeah it means what clustering of instance are are available in container one right yes similarly in the testing if we are going to test any application which have 10 modules a uh, module 1 module 2 module 3 module 4 module 5 module 6 module 7 module 8 till right but after the testing you are able to see that maximum defects means suppose you got 10 defects out of 10 seven defects are present in module four only mm. correct it means what you can say that module seven have the defect clustering mm. now got it understood yes. yeah okay next is pesticide paradox so you must be knowing right nowadays pesticides mm. sanitizing yeah, yeah nowadays everyone is everyone knows sanitizer right yeah what is that it's like cleaning the germs basically we are killing the germs killing the germs, cleaning yeah. is killing. killing so the pesticide germs. paradox is basically you know uh, especially whenever you will visit any kitchen especially in india i'm not sure about the because I haven't seen in Netherlands and all any kind of you know cockroach and all in our kitchen, but in India we have seen, right? Yeah. So what happens? Yeah. Same time of if same type of pesticides if you are using in a kitchen last five to ten years, then after some times you will see that there is no impact of that pesticides on cockroach, right? Mm, yeah. Because they have developed the immunity. To survive in that kind of condition correct in in that type of condition like corona yes. nowadays what corona is what developing their immunity correct similarly yeah. we are also trying to by taking the vaccine and all we are what trying to develop the immunity to fight with coronavirus correct yes if same type of medicine uh, see after before five or ten years ago you have seen that if you will visit any doctor especially in india they will give you 250 mg you know uh, of uh, any anti uh, what is that medicines. Uh, medicines 200 or 100 mg or 250 mg right yes, antibiotic yes. especially antibiotic yeah. nowadays if you will go they will directly going to write 500 mg they are not mm. writing because we have already adopted 200 mg okay yeah so it means what we if yeah so for killing the jumps for killing the what mm -hmm. killing the jumps for killing the cockroach we have to increase our pesticides power correct yes in a similar way if we want to find the different types of defect we have to adopt what we have to adopt the new technology of testing new variety of testing same suppose you have written a 10 test case in the application you have executed mm -hmm. you will get you know five defects if same type of uh, test cases if you are going to repeat then you will, after sometimes you will not get the new defect right yes again if you want to find the new defect you have to slightly change the approach of testing right and you have okay. to add more scenario in the test, uh, test case um, especially in testing suit right or test cases correct 
Yes. Suppose first time you have tested your infrastructure for two server. Next time you are going to, if only after you know ten days also, if you are going to check for two server only, it will not give you the any kind of defect, any kind of error, right? Mm -hmm. But if you will check with ten server after ten days, you will get maybe you will get what some issues, right? In your infrastructure. Yeah. So it means what you are going, you are changing the way of testing yes so in the same way if you are increasing the pesticides power similarly you have to increase your testing process also way of testing also similar type of test cases if we are going to execute again and again in the same application we will not get a new defect for finding the new defect we have to add more scenario we have to test uh, we have to test in different way not in a similar way which we have tested in the last execution clear what is pesticide paradox yeah understood or not concept is clear or not yeah yeah concept clear now next is absence of error policy exactly Absence of error policy means us. If you are a developer or you are an infrastructure guy, right? Suppose you have a created infrastructure and then you are saying that, okay, there is no error at all in my infrastructure. It is not possible at all. Because ideal engine is not possible, right? Mm. Someone, is showing, someone is saying that there is no error in my application. In WhatsApp, there is also error or defect. Correct? In Gmail, mm. also a defect. Yes no application in the universe are have the zero defect simple concept so of testing principle one of the testing principle is what absence of error policy hmm. okay next is what testing is context dependent context dependent means what see if you are going to test the application which is related with infrastructure then you should have the infrastructure knowledge if you are going to test the application which is uh, I know which belongs to the financial domain then you should have the financial domain knowledge getting my point yes okay so domain is also important context someone is working in healthcare domain last 20 years and suddenly you are going to put into the financial domain and, um, mm. they are not able to find out any kind of defect frankly speaking mm. so domain knowledge is also important Without domain knowledge, you will not become a you know, VP or senior VP or you know additional director, associate director or MDA. Okay. Domain is also after technical, up to manager, technical is done. Mm. Okay. After manager, if you you should apart from technical, you should have also domain expertise, either in insurance domain, either in a financial domain, either in a healthcare domain. Okay. That is also a what important part for growing in the industry okay okay so i will tell mm -hmm. you if you are interested in the, basically the best domain if you want to earn money is financial domain mm -hmm. okay because see everywhere money is coming from the investment banking only if your client is going to invest on your applications on your uh, organization then only you will get the salary right yes tell me correct or not so yeah. financial domain is a number one domain in the market you can search on google mm. okay and that's the reason there are so many certifications are there icfa and all and you have seen right i did my mba in fan fs only and my information yeah. science only yeah so that's the reason see these things you should be you know if someone have in my starting of my career when i have a five or six years of experience then only i got a guidance of one of the you know vp hmm. then i did all this stuff so after this agile and all okay later not uh, do not do regular after one month or two months okay do some domain uh, in uh, take some domain information also domain related stuff 
what is investment banking what is retail banking how they are going to work okay what are the see if you will search on wall you will get so many uh, uh, theories that is not important if you will only uh, type what are the testing principles in uh, uh, google you will get so many uh, testing principles but only is important are only seven testing principles that's all first one is what testing shows presence of defect exhaustive testing is impossible no, early testing. testing fourth one is defect clustering fifth one is pesticide paradox sixth one is absence of error fallacy and next one is what testing is context dependent clear okay any doubt till now so these no, are the okay. seven testing principle so whenever you are going to start testing you should know these seven testing principles so see you are a manager if you have seen that your test engineer is what uh, executing same type of test case again and again and they are not getting uh, defect then as a manager you can say that please add more scenario in your test suits and uh, run the scenario uh, run the suit then you will get correct so if you have that kind of knowledge then pesticides paradox then only you are able to guide them correct yeah so those is stuff i'm telling you right now you are working as a manager or uh... no normal thing technical only or oh, technical only technical, yeah, technical, man technical yeah. manager also yeah now fundamental test process we are going to discuss okay please enroll our general membership for 399 plan to get access of all the parts Along with that you can access our other tutorials such as Docker, Ansible, Jenkins, Terraform, Splunk, AWS, Azure and various other DevOps related premium tutorials with our channel membership. If you would have any issues with our channel membership you can drop an email to us at contact@devopsschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 399 plan and grow your skills immensely. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, we will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.